Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will explore reasons behind building surfaces across our sighting line. In Alias, we have something called a symmetry or duplicate. So it makes it really easy. Let's say you have a set of surfaces like this. All you have to do is just turn the symmetry on and you can duplicate all the surfaces to the other side across the center line. However, it is still vital that you still build across the center line, the main slabs. If I just turn the symmetry off, you'll notice that this is actually built across the center, center line and it is symmetrical about the X axis. Now, there are a couple of reasons why it is recommended to do this. And also a lot of professionals prefer to use this way. And I'm going to explore some of the reasons why. Okay, so one of the reasons, I guess one of the main reasons, especially if you're a beginning, uh, I guess beginner, or if you're not, uh, if you're not at, yet at a professional level, it is really easy to keep uh, keep things curvature about the center line. So with this one, and actually let me just turn symmetry on because it is the symmetry is on, it is always going to have curvature across the center line. So let's say I trim this, I just turn the symmetry on. Even if I adjust the CVs like this and maybe move it like this, you are always going to have a very nice highlight across the center. Now, let's say you built it only halfway. Actually, let me just turn the symmetry off. I'm going to copy and paste this over to this side, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to untrim the surface and I'm just going to use a trim convert to make this a half. So I'm just going to do this like this. Now, with the surface, because it is based on, oh, actually, you know what? Let me just do a something that is similar. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate all the curves over here. And I'm just going to delete the surface and for simplicity sake, I'm just going to make this into a degree two and I'm just going to snap it over here like this so that it is going to achieve a curvature. Now I'm going to build it with the square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Okay. So in two imply tangent at least. Okay. So now let's try and do a symmetry. Okay. So we were able to achieve a curvature across the center. But the problem is, if I just adjust the CV just a tiny little bit, you'll see that it is now broken. Now, I probably didn't move it that much. Actually, let me see how much I moved it. Actually, that, that might be a little bit a lot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it up point, okay, zero, zero, zero. I'm going to move it up point zero one mil. Oops, okay, so let me ju just do a relative. 0 0.00. I'm going to just move it up 0 0.01 million and see if that breaks, the, uh, that makes a crease. Okay, maybe you can't see it right now. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm just going to move it up a mil about point. Yeah, that looks about it. Okay, so I moved it one mil. This is the length of the roof piece right here is 2,000 more than 2,100 mils. So even a one mil move of the CV can have a dramatic effect on the CV structure of the surface. And you'll see that now it is broken. Now, with if you build it across the center line, you never have to worry about this. As you, as you saw over with this surface, even if I move the CV like this, it's always going to, let's turn the symmetry on, it's always going to achieve curvature across the center. So it is, that is one of the primary reasons why you want to make sure that you build across the center line. Okay, so I think I might have messed up with this one. I wonder if I can just back it down. Maybe not. Okay, that's not a problem. So I'm just going to turn this off and this one I can turn off as well. Okay, so the second reason behind building across the center line is because it allows you to achieve a very nice curvature cone. Now, this uh, is probably more advanced, uh, one of the more advanced reasons why you want to build across the center. So let me show you guys why. So 
right now I have a curvature comb. Actually, I'm just going to do it over here. So if I go to the top view, right now the CV structure is a little more even, so that's why it's got a very even structure. But if I pull the CV like this, and right now the symmetry is on, you'll notice that the curvature comb is very smooth across the center. Now, let's see if I can duplicate this curve, actually. Yes, I'm going to duplicate this curve. So I'm just going to duplicate this edge like this. Same curve, and I got the symmetry on. And let's see if I can put a curvature comb here. Now the curvature comb structure is the same because right now I duplicated off of this. But let's say I move this CV like this. You'll notice the curvature comb is now developing a very interesting and funny shape. So even if I, let's say right now, it's still achieving curvature though. And let me show you guys why. Uh, let me show you guys how it's still achieving curvature. So I'm just going to put a draft here like this. You'll notice that the, the highlight is still smooth. And when I do the surface continue over here, like this, it is still achieving curvature. Now, actually I'm going to have this surface turned on. And I'm going to just move this CV inboard like this. And if I go to the other side, you'll see that there's a little peak. Now, if I were to do that with this surface over here, you'll see that there is no peak. It is still smooth. Yes, it is. The acceleration is a little bit higher here, but it doesn't have a peak within the curve curvature. Now, even if I now it's still curvature, still achieving curvature. If I put the surface continuity on, but as you can see by the curvature comb, it is not G3. Yes, it looks smooth by the eye, but it is not G3. And you, if you are doing class A surfacing, especially, you want to make sure that the curvature comb is a nice, uh, it is nice and smooth across the center. So those are the two reasons why you want to build across the center line. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.